Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Last time, we in fact did not finish Battle Rock. Yeah, it's one of the few with six stars. Oh. Space Chunk as well. Huh. Oh, so if a star has a uh, secret mission, they'll have a question mark on the, um, hovering over it. A star with a question mark on it. I haven't just shown that off yet. But, no. Ah, right into the other high. Alright. Bowser Star Reactor, the fiery stronghold. Uh, how worlds kind of work, it alternates between a Bowser stage and a Bowser Jr. Uh, boss stage. Usually Bowser Jr. ones are shorter. Yes. And, yeah, why not? Also, I'm gonna be quiet because the music in this stage is absolutely amazing. Stages always had good music. It's always had good music, but this one has absolutely phenomenal music. We're oh, basically already at the end of the stage. Wow. Ah, fuck, I have to do about the voice. Or not. I mean, thank you, game. Oh, wait, this is where I have to do the battle voice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you finally made it! She's in time for me to stop you and do a uh, space bits. All right, Bowser time. So how Bowser works? Basically, you want to lower his jump onto these glass panels, chase him around a bit, spin him, and then spin him again. Rinse and repeat. Quest battles do get harder. Also, if you need coins and there are any fields beyond these lumps, will also give you coins if you make Bowser jump on that one. Of course, it's not as easy as it looks because he start, eventually he starts moving. Oh, this Bowser shell is really fucking weird. But it has retractable spikes. Also, you're completely safe on these platforms from the shockwaves. And that's Bowser. Yeah, I did not, would not be able to have done that. Oh well, there's gonna be another miscellaneous like single star episodes. 
What? How? Foolish Mario, my plans is far along now. You really think you can stop me? Ha <laughs> And that's the end of the fountain for now. So, the time of recording, um, Delta Travel is going up two days from now. As, um, currently, like, the second to last uh, Delta Travel, uh, no, uh, before the hiatus, um, uh, half and Hero video is going up. Keep in mind, I'm, like, all of that stuff was really far ahead. And it wasn't, like, until, like, a few days after... Um... Like, I finished recording Traveler. That I posted the, um, community ad post of... Of the community tap poll. So yeah. I think I might do more of those in the future. Who knows? <laughs> oh, next uh, miscellaneous star episode is gonna be fun. Oh, oh wait, this is a miscellaneous star episode. Fuck. You rescued another Grand Star, and the power has returned to another dome in the in the back of the observatory. Hmm, I still don't think we have enough have star power we need to fly to the observatory through the universe. <laughs> the villain who kidnapped your special one took her far from here, to the center of the universe somehow. Our, once our star power is stored, the observatory will be able to go there. You'll re reunite with your special one. Time for pain. I know I'm saying, like, oh, time for pain, like, this galaxy fucking sucks, when, especially when it comes to the, uh, miscellaneous star episode. But this is actually one of my least favorite galaxies in the game, and this might take me half an hour on its own. Now Luma's dead now, by the way. I like how I've gone in, what? Seven episodes without mentioning. Yeah, the Lumas we feed in these levels. Yeah, they're dead now. Technically. A very sick situation. You know how in like the most productive episode, episode five, I said, God, these sling pods are going to become the bane of my existence. These sling pods are going to become the pain of my existence. Keep in mind, I don't have... ...have us doing this on, on the Wii. Or, I guess, my Wii U. So this is a bit of a nightmare. Also, we could go that way, or we could do a cheeky little skip. Time it correctly. I am half prepared to get too, way too many game overs. You know, I would put on other music, but I also kind of don't want to. Kind of thing. 
If this goes on for too long, I am gonna just listen to something else for the next half an hour. Because this music is gonna start getting on my nerves eventually. Alright, here's the first checkpoint. Also, this is probably the level with the most amount of scar bits in the entire game. We're... Okay, if there weren't like a thousand. A cap of a thousand star bits. This would probably be the level. We'd probably break even on this level. I missed. Me. I am not dead. If I can second try this, no, it's no way in. There's no way in, or in uh, hell. There's no way. Just fucking speechless because that took me well over an hour on my first playthrough. First real playthrough of that level. Yeah. Was the Switch version of the scam. How the fuck did I do that do that first try? Or second try? Whatever, we fucking we fucking take those. Something I- oh, okay, the story blank. Something I ne didn't really bother with in my first play- in my uh, other playthroughs. But I might as well. Every few star thresholds, Rosalina will have another story unlocked. And good things- like, it- this was originally not supposed to be in the game. This- this wasn't going to exist. But- some, like, Godspeed to whatever, whoever, de whatever developer managed to get this into the game, because this is, it, it provides what, I'm pretty sure what really makes Rosalina one of the most fan-favorite characters in the series. Because she has an actual, she has backstory. And it's told through the storybooks. So, let us begin. Chapter 1, The Celestial Duo A story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a sp small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked. Asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting night and day, day and night. Don't worry, I'll I'll wait with you, the, the little girl promised to Luma. At night, Fall, the girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered at the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days, then years. But still, the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said, 
Tiluma, if we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The... I think that's the gateway galaxy in the background. No. The girl and Luma fixed the rusty spaceship, and then the two set sail into the starry skies. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Chapter 2 Starbits. Remember, uh, stars, uh, the. Uh, chapters get unlocked via star thresholds, and we've been collecting basically every single star up to this point. Days passed with no sight of the comet, or even a single planet, instead asteroids extending as far as the eye could see. If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above me. Above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she had packed all the essentials. Telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny rabbit, bread, milk, jam, and an apricot flavored tea, but... I forgot to bring water. This is Luma. At this, Luma bursts into a gale of laughter. And the girl began to pout. As long as I have star bits, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? The little girl couldn't stay mad after hearing this. Luma continued to laugh, and the girl couldn't help but join in. Alright, maybe just a nibble. Learn Leaning far out of the ship, the pair began to collect star bits with the, the girl's neck. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. The, the Starbits tasted like honey. That should do it for today. Honestly, this is probably the chillest... ...place in the, um... Entire game. I'm gonna be honest, I never really came into this room as a kid. I didn't really care for the story. But now as I'm an adult, I like it. It's... It's... It's very chill. God damn it. There we go. I could have sworn one of these I don't to connect it from the top. We have discovered the enemy base in the region. After Bubble Breeze, we're gonna do Ghostly Galaxy, then Beach Bowl, and so on. I think I know that, that other level. Let's get Buoy Base. So that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be the only question mark block level with two stars in it. Through the Poison Swamp. Here it comes from Kang, it's not really going to show up very often. 
the bubble. Ah, oh, fuck yes. this music again. It's the only track in the game I actually found annoying. So, touch poison, it's basically instant death. You can, I think, with like one frame jumps, get through that. For right in a bubble, you're truly Phil Board. This is my favorite joke in the series, the Bill and Phil Board. Bend your ear for a second, you can move around the bubble by holding A and press. By holding down the A button to do it. Well, go too far to one side, use that. I think in the Switch version, this is probably one of the most annoying mechanics in the game. But with the free movement of the cursor, it's not that bad. Fuck. This is what the miscellaneous side episode, uh, miscellaneous Whee! single star con episode is about. Whee! Pain. Also, you can spin to get out of the bubble at any time, but I recommend you do that over not death. Death is bad for your health. Immediate passwords. Oh. I clearly want. Oh. Uh. One more time, I'm gonna change the music. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot do that in game. one of the most high, highest point scores in the game. Or you can ground pound. Thank you. 
Is this Bowie Bass unlocked? Yeah. We shouldn't have any comet missions up. Yeah. Never mind, we have a new chapter as a storybook. Probably gonna be the end of this episode. Ooh. Let us begin. Chapter three: The Comet. A beam of light piercing through the. The ship's window, thinking it was the morning sun, the girl peered through the window, only to find a turquoise blue comet shining at her. Brave mother, breathe, mother fluffer, breathe. The little girl shook the sleepy Luma awake and shouted excitedly, "We have to go to get to the co that comet." The pair descended to the com on the comet and found it was made of ice. Looked high and low, but Luma's mother was not was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop and uttered, un utterly unable to take another step. Look! Peering down at the icy ground where the Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed a cluster of star bits encased in ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty, said Luma, beaming. There's ice here, but it's so warm. I bet the water, there's water here, too. Two decide to stay on the comet for a while. Riding the turquoise comet, the pair continue searching for Luma's mother. Hmm. That should do it for today. And that should be it, do it for this episode. So... Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to content start working on the um words Kitchens uh, Galaxy for yeah we're gonna start working on uh, the stars in the kitchen so till next time. <laughs>